Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we will be taking a look at another character from the most recent wave of vintage collection figures, General Hera Syndulla from the Ahsoka series. It's absolutely awesome to see another character from recent media make their way into our collections in a timely manner just after a show has ended, so I have to give Hasbro some credit for making this one happen quickly. And lastly, this figure makes me very excited for the upcoming Rebels version that was part of our successful HasLab Ghost campaign, so I am definitely looking forward to that figure. But with all that being said, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's take a closer look at General Hera Syndulla. And taking a look at our vintage style packaging, we have an excellent addition to our Ahsoka carded collections with this nice, bright, vibrant purple color that just looks really good with the bright green and orange colors seen on this figure on the bubble. So I really like how that's looking. And then we have a nice image of Hera aboard the Home One as she tries to warn the New Republic about the upcoming threat of Thrawn. And that's just a really nice image. And you got the Kenner logo down below and just all the things that are on this car back image are working for me. On the back, she is VC300 in the line, General Hera Syndulla, with a small informational blurb about her and the Vintage Collection logo down below. And as I mentioned earlier, it's nice to see more and more characters from the Ahsoka series making their way into our collections sooner rather than later. And I really look forward to adding VC300 General Hera Syndulla to my Ahsoka carded collection. All right, and taking a look at General Harrison Dula out of the packaging, I've got to say that once again, Hasbro has nailed it for the vintage collection, and this portrait looks wonderful. It really, really does look like the actress, and at the three and three quarter scale, I think this is really impressive work. And the one thing I've always appreciated about our head sculpts is they don't have that very oily look to them that unfortunately the larger six inch figures do have, so... I'm always grateful for that. And then taking a look at the back, we have some nice paint application and detail on her tails there. They look really good. And then we got some nice deco hits here on the silver on her goggles. And they're not dirty or anything like that, kind of like with smudge marks or anything. Just very clean paint applications. And then the photo reel itself just looks really good. Her eyes are, you know, not crooked or anything like that. And yeah, they've really captured the actress quite well, in my opinion. Taking a look at the rest of her uh, paint deco hits, she's got a nice Phoenix Squadron here on her arm. She's got her general rank badge. And then on the back, she has her Spectre Ghost symbol. So that looks really, really good, in my opinion. Taking a look at the rest of the figure, it's pretty much, you know, not a lot of paint applications. This is kind of sculpted orange plastic which looks very good and then I think the bottom is actually probably like a black plastic and maybe they painted it because you can kind of see a little bit of like I don't know bleed through or something there on the hinge but um that's one thing I do want to point out is so when I got this out of the package it moves wonderfully it's a very nice articulated figure but for some reason similar to our wandering Obi-Wan her knees are a little low in my opinion and I think in the sculpting stage maybe they just didn't want to interfere with this detail work here but personally I think it would have looked fine and I much rather would have it like a little bit higher up because I have put her in a couple stances and it does look a little odd that her knees are just so low the other thing I want to point out is that you know we do like when our figures can get a full 90 degree range of motion and you know she's just falling a little bit short there but in terms of the rest of the leg articulation I will say it's fantastic one thing I want to point out is that um her holster doesn't get in the way at all which sometimes happens with that kind of holster style, but yeah, she can move quite well. She has the new style hips, which is great. She's got the swivel at the thigh, and she's got rocker ankles, so she'll be able to do lots of different poses, and yeah, very, very good stuff. In terms of the arms, she does get more than a full 90 degree angle right there, which is great to see, but she doesn't have any hinges on the wrist, which is a little unfortunate, but I guess I can understand because her wrists are kind of small, so I know that's kind of their reasoning, but I would still like them to try more if they could. So taking a look at a figure such as the Tuscan Warrior, who has arms that are reused from Ray Jakku, they're not super off, but, you know, maybe they could do something similar. Because this figure does have hinges of the wrist, and, you know, I just like to see full articulation on all of my figures. But other than that, you know, she's got ball jointed everything. She'll be able to move around. The jacket is removable if you do want to take that off. She's got a little bit of a crunch here and then a swivel. And then, of course, she's got that double ball joint up here on the head. 
And like I pointed out in a couple other videos, unfortunately she can't really like look up too much. And that's one thing I do want to see a little bit more is maybe a little bit more articulation for our figures to kind of like look up at the sky or something like that. But yeah, all in all, she's a good looking figure and I'm definitely happy to see Hera finally make it into the vintage collection. General Hera Syndulla, better known as VC300, is a wonderful addition to the Vintage Collection and our decent offering of figures from the Ahsoka series, and will look simply stunning when paired with the upcoming HasLab Ghost. Naturally, Hera comes with all the modern articulation we are now seeing with brand new figures in the Vintage Collection. The new style barbell hips, rocker ankles, and ball jointed knees bring a fluid range of motion to this character, but the lack of a full 90 degree bend at the knee does hinder the figure slightly. Furthermore, Hera does not have hinges at the wrist, a point of articulation that has been missing on smaller female figures as of late. I really urge Hasbro to work with their factories to include hinges on all figures moving forward, as this lack of articulation does limit the figure's ability to achieve a proper sniper position. Regardless, General Harris and Dula is a strong addition to the line, and I look forward to more Ahsoka series figures. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking a look at another character from the most recent wave of vintage collection figures, General Hera Syndulla. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It really helps and is always greatly appreciated. Thanks everyone, and may the force be with you.